Make sure you go to ashkicking.com and cop the new special edition DBN Cynic Candle for the Andre Ward vs. Sergey Kovalev rematch. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So there is some serious drama brewing in Team Golovkin's camp right now. Now, it was started off as rumors, but basically James Prince and legal advisor Josh Dubbin, they confirmed that Sergey Kovalev's trainer, John David Jackson, actually reached out to Team Ward so that he can work for Andre Ward against Sergey Kovalev three weeks before the fight. Now, this is something you rarely ever see in boxing. The head trainer, not just an assistant. We're not talking about an assistant. We're not talking about a nutritionist, a cut man. We're talking about the head trainer. It's talking about jumping ship and working for the rival team three weeks before the fight. Now, it's not that much of a surprise that there's turmoil and John David Jackson is most likely leaving Sergey Kovalev. That's not that much of a surprise because we've seen all of the indications with John David Jackson working the corner, not even really being able to talk in the corner, which James Prince and Josh Dubbin, they talked about. So we knew this was coming. And credit to Virgil Hunter because Virgil Hunter, he pointed this out at the last press conference I think was held in Oakland when John David Jackson didn't show up Virgil Hunter you know he talked about it and he said he ain't gonna be there at the fight and Kathy Duva she interjected and she was like no he will be there he just couldn't make it today and Virgil Hunter you know he stood firm and he said trust me John David Jackson is not gonna be there the night of the fight to work Kovalev's corner and Virgil Hunter was absolutely right. He was absolutely right. This is really crazy, man. I mean, there's a lot of drama in uh, Kovalev's camp, and I don't know if this is going to help him getting in the ring with someone as good and as gifted as Andre Ward. It just seems like that's too much drama. But we'll see. We'll see if uh, what Kovalev is doing is paying off trying to basically go all Russian when it comes to everyone in this corner. Now, when John David Jackson did reach out to Team Ward, he talked to James Prince and, once again, Josh Dubbin, and they said they were surprised. They were shocked that John David Jackson wanted to jump off the Kovalev bus and work against him for Andre Ward's team. You know that this is not about money and this is extremely personal when a trainer not only is about to leave his fighter, but he wants to help the other guy beat his fighter. That means this is straight personal. That means Jackson is out for vengeance. That means he feels he was totally disrespected by Team Kovalev and he wants to do something about it. Okay. Now we already know about Sergey Kovalev's history when it comes to him posting racist tweets, calling black people monkeys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We know about the fake text message that Kovalev shared that was filled with the N-word. We know about all these things when it comes to Sergey Kovalev. And the ironic thing is, you know, the racist decaps, they would always try to defend Kovalev. And, and the funny thing about the racist decaps is, once again, these are the same people that will say you're racist if you criticize a certain fighter, like Lovkin or something like that. But yet, when this man calls black people monkeys, those same decaps will then turn around and defend him, right? Oh, he's not racist. Oh, get out of here. He's not racist because he has a black trainer. But you know what's funny about them saying that? is even Kovalev's own trainer 
when shots out to barbershop conversations because he interviewed him when he interviewed him and asked him about you know those racist tweets and all that kind of stuff john david jackson actually said in the interview what sergey kovalev did was racist he said that i have the video up on my channel and it's up on barbershop's channel as well so you can't use that Oh, he has a black friend. Oh, he has a black person in this corner. It's ridiculous, okay? John David Jackson, he knew what type of person Kovalev was. He also talked about Sergey Kovalev screwing up. And if he doesn't straighten out, he's going to end up messing up everything. He was talking about his attitude with the racist tweets and everything else when it comes to Kovalev. So John David Jackson knew what type of person Kovalev was from day one, okay? Now, according to James Prince, they actually turned down John David's offer when it comes to him working with the team. They said they thought about it for a while and they ended up turning it down because they didn't want a possible win to be overshadowed by the drama of Jackson jumping ship and working with Andre Ward. But if you really think about it, this would have been a great opportunity and a great idea for them to allow Jackson into the camp because psychologically that could have really affected Kovalev. I mean, that's a play right out of Floyd Mayweather's handbook right there. You know, Floyd Mayweather, he loves to get into his opponent's head psychologically. He loves to defeat them before the fight, before the first bell rings, something that um, Oscar De La Hoya said. He said what, what Floyd Mayweather does is he defeats you before you even get in a ring with him, with his antics. So that's what Andre Ward's people, they, that's what they should have did. But another reason why Andre Ward and Virgil Hunter probably turned down Jackson's offer is because they've already been in the ring with Kovalev. They've already seen Kovalev, what he does for 12 rounds. So they have a fight that they can actually study Okay, so with that being said, if it weren't for them already fighting before, Team War probably would have been a little bit more open to taking in Jackson. But it is what it is. So we're going to see what happens. We're going to see if Kovalev once again deciding to focus more on his Russian trainers to help him out. We're going to see if that helps him improve in this fight. This is gonna be, I can tell you right now, man, there is no fight that I could think of right now that is as competitive as War versus Kovalev. This is truly a 50-50 fight if we've ever heard of one. Anyway, let's see what happens this month. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.